Hi there, my name is Chad Nicely. I'm the co-creator of this amazing new platform called Survey. Now you can see in this video that I'm over here on my dashboard. And if I start over here at the top right, you'll see that I've got different modules that I can go ahead and log into. So I've got a survey module, an appointment module, and then I've got one called a linked campaigns module. And what happens is anytime that we have gone and linked a survey with an appointment form, it becomes a linked campaign. Very, very, powerful. Now you're probably looking at this dashboard and saying, well, this kind of looks kind of plain. And there's a reason for that. The reason why is because we have it to where our customers can go and actually rebrand this whole entire system with our agency program. So they're able to load their own logos. They're able to put in their own colors. And we had to make sure that the dashboard would work for any uh, color combination that they choose. And so let's come over here and start with the survey module. So I'll go ahead and click this button here and you see that I'm over here on the survey module. Now right away you see that we have statistics up at the top. So as you can see all of my surveys and applications I've had 732 views. Out of those 732 views I've had 81 responses. Out of the 81 responses 72 people have been qualified which gave me a score of 33.72. And so if we go ahead and scroll down I'll just look at one of these individual applications or surveys. So we got this Ignite uh, Mastermind in San Diego. So there's 177 views out of 177 views, 10 people responded out of the responded eight were qualified, gave me a score of 42.82. And now what I'm able to do is I'm able to come over here and click on the individual links. So here is my application URL. Here is my site survey and here is my web survey. So I'll show you what each one of these looks like. So we'll go ahead and click on the application survey and I'll come over here and open this up in another tab. So here's our application survey. And so you can see that you can have a video in here and we have a title and a description and I can watch this video when I'm ready. I'm gonna click this here and you can see that this beautiful application opens up. We'll talk about that here in a minute, but at the same time, we have another type of survey that was created and this is our web survey. So I'm gonna show you how easily we're gonna customize all this. You're kind of looking at the end results right now. And then we have something called a site survey. And with the site survey, I can come over here and scroll left to right. So as you can see, these are beautiful surveys. And the cool thing is all of these surveys were created all at once with a few clicks of the mouse. So that's what we're gonna do, that's the end result. And then I'm gonna show you how you're able to create an appointment form as well. So let me show you that real quick too. So I'll come back over here to the appointment module and we'll go ahead and preview this strategy session right here. And so now you see I have this beautiful appointment form. And so I have my social media icons up here at the top. Here's a calendar where I can choose my dates. And then down below, I can actually have other appointments that are available as well. So if I'm ready, I just come over here and I go ahead and click these here until I can find an available date. There it is. I say, boom, I want this date here. And there you have it. So the cool thing about this is we're able to take this application and and this survey and this survey that are all created at once and we're able to link it to this appointment form. But we can also set it up to where only qualified individuals will see this appointment form and everybody else might go see a different URL or we might send them to a different product or we might display a message. There's tons of things that we can do. Now, what's really cool is once we have all this set up and we have our appointments linked to our applications and our surveys and everything else, then we're able to deploy these little widgets on our site. And so now on the screen, you see that I've got these widgets, right? Now this is inside of our membership platform, which is Everlesson, but it'll also work for any sales page, any WordPress page, any HTML page. You pretty much wanna put these widgets on every page you have because they're going to make you money. Now if I hover over this one, it says, go ahead and take the survey. This uh, has my phone number, not a real phone number. Here's my contact information. And if I click this here, boom, you see that this beautiful survey opens up inside this responsive light box, right? So now you see the end result. And by the way, this can also be an appointment form as well. So let me show you that. Okay, so I went and replaced the code. You can see that I kind of swapped the colors around a little bit. And yes, you have full control over your design. But if I hover over this, make an appointment, here's my phone number, and here's my email. And if I click this now, boom, you see that we have this beautiful appointment form that just opened up. And I can come over here and I can select my date. 
And so these little widgets should be deployed everywhere and they should be opening up your applications, your surveys, your appointments, and you're losing money if you don't have them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in the back end and show you how fast we're able to create these surveys, applications, and appointments. Okay, so I'm over here on the survey module and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a new survey. So it's going to create our applications and our surveys at once. Let's go ahead and do uh, a survey for feedback on my website. So I'm just going to name this one feedback. I'm going to click create survey and you see that we've got this very basic questionnaire that's opened up. Now, even though it looks easy because we don't want to overwhelm you, it's very, very powerful and it's actually doing everything that all the other survey platforms are doing. So the first thing is we'll ask for contact information. So I'm going to say, please tell me about yourself. And then I want their name, email, and maybe I want their phone number. I'm going to click save changes. And there you go. We just added our contact information. Next, I'm going to ask a yes or no question. So I'm going to come over here, multiple choice, and I'm going to say, do you like the content of this site? And we'll say, yes, I do. Or we'll say, no, I don't. And then we'll go ahead and click save changes. And now we just created this multiple choice. Next, we're going to do a comment box. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say, what is your favorite part of the site? Next, let's go ahead and do a comment box. We'll ask the question, what is your favorite part of the site? We'll go ahead and click Save Changes, and there it is. And now let's ask a question that's going to make us some money. So how about if we ask a question, would you like to see how you can grow your business? And we'll make this a yes or no question. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to ask this question. I'm going to say yes, or I'm going to say, actually, we'll say yes, please. And then I'm going to say no, thank you. Okay. Now, watch this. We're going to come over here and say enable qualification criteria, and we're going to set up some criteria. And if they say no, thank you, let's disqualify them. And if they say yes, please, then we're going to qualify them. And what I want to do is if they say yes, please, I want to send them to a page where they can make an appointment. And then let's do one more. What we'll do is we'll do a rating scale. So I'll come over here and I'll say on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate this site? And we'll go ahead and switch this to 10. And we can go ahead and choose, how about a thumbs up? We'll click Save Changes, and there we go. So now we created our questionnaire. What we're going to do is we're going to click the Next button, and we're going to be over here on step number two, which is ordering our survey. Okay, now look what survey just did. It just went and created three different types. We have an application survey, we have a site survey, and we have a web survey. And I already showed you what those look like at the beginning of this video. But what we're able to do is we're able to move the order around. So if we want this to be at the top, we can do that. Or if we want this to be at the top, we can do that. But let's go ahead and put our contact information back up here at the top. Then we can click on site survey and let's go ahead and say we want this to be at the top. Well, we can order this around any way we want. That way, each one of these types are different according to the needs and the media where you're going to place them. And then once we have this done, we're going to click next step. Now we're over here on step number three, and this is add our customization. So we can come over here and we can ask the question, what do you think of my site? And then we can go ahead and say this, please fill out this short little questionnaire. And then we can go ahead and click Save Changes. And now we've got a title as well as a description. And if we want to come over here and place a video like I showed you in the intro video, we can go ahead and do that as well. And then we can come over here and we can place a footer. All very, very easy. But now let's come over here to Site Survey. And with Site Survey, we can come over here and let's go into our editor. Now you see that we've got this yellow color here. Maybe this is not your color. But what we can do is we can come over here to Custom Colors and we can change out all the colors and the fonts and everything manually. Or if we're not very good at matching colors, then we can just kind of move this little controller all around and we can go ahead and choose these predefined colors so that your colors will always match no matter what which item you choose here, okay? But we can also come over here and set a background image. So if I open this up and if I say add an image, what I can do is I can go ahead and upload an image. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose an image that I've got on my desktop or I've got this one already uploaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this happy face here. I'm gonna say add background image and there you go. Now you see that we have a background in our survey as well. And so then we can come over here to our custom colors. Let me show you if I kind of scroll down a little bit 
you'll see that here's what the highlight section looks like. So if we wanna go ahead and change all these colors and everything else, if we wanna change the color of the font, we can very easily do that. So that's how you're gonna go about customizing your two surveys. And web survey is gonna work the same exact way. We're gonna come over here, and remember this one rolls right to left. So we could go ahead and choose different colors, or we could come over here and choose a background image, whatever we wanna do. That's how fast you're gonna go about creating your surveys. Now what we wanna do is wanna come over here and click on advanced actions. And remember we set up that one question where it's either qualified or disqualified. Well, let's go ahead and say if they're disqualified, we wanna send them to a custom URL. So I'll go ahead and send them to my site. I'm sure they'll find some valuable information there. Or if they're qualified, then let's go ahead and send them to an appointment page. So I'm gonna send them to the strategy session. So now when somebody fills out this application or one of these surveys, if they answer that one question, remember this question right here, would you like to see how you can grow your business? If they say no thank you, they're gonna to go to my website. If they say yes please, they're going to go to an appointment form. So we're gonna go ahead and click next step. And so now we're over here on publish and share. And so here's our links. These are the same links that I gave you at the beginning. So if we open this one up, here is the application that we created. And here is our site survey. I think this is the one that has a happy face. So we'll go ahead and open this up. Okay, so there is our site survey with our customization. I think that's looking pretty nice. And then finally, we have our web survey. So if I come down here, I can go ahead and open up this link here. And there is our web survey, and this one's going to scroll left to right. And we didn't choose a background image or anything else for this. We just went with a predefined color. Now, if I come back over here to the bottom, here's where you're gonna go and get those widgets that I showed you as well. So we can come over here and we can choose a different button color for our take our survey button. And then here is a little round widgets. And then if we wanna go ahead and show the survey icon, we're gonna click this. If we wanna put in our phone number, if we wanna put in our email address, we can do all of that. And then what it's going to do, it's going to give me script down here that I can place on my pages, my sales pages, my landing pages, my membership platform, uh, my blogs, you wanna pretty much place these widgets everywhere, okay? So that's how that's going to work. Let me show you one more thing when it comes to these surveys. If I come over here, let's look at the statistics. So we'll come over here and we'll look at these statistics right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click this. And what you're able to do is you're able to see all of your statistics as a whole. And then we've broken down each statistic by survey type. And we also show you if they're qualified or they're disqualified. So if I come over here to application survey, I can see how all of my respondents answered as a whole. Or I can come over here and click on individual responses and see how each one of them responded. And then I can click the view button here and I can actually see what their answers were, the date it was created, their IP address, their score, and if they're qualified or disqualified. Okay, so there's the rundown of the survey creation. Now what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and create an appointment. So I'm gonna come over here to the appointment module and you see that I've got these three appointments here. It all works the same exact way. We have all of our stats here. We can come over here and view the appointments. We can create new ones, we can edit them. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and create a new appointment. I'm gonna show you how fast we do this. So we're gonna call this Chad's Coaching Program. Okay, and then we're gonna put in the description. This is Chad's Personal Coaching Program. Okay, and then I can come over here and choose my instructions. So are they gonna meet at my office? Am I gonna meet at their office? Are they going to call me? Am I gonna call them? Or are we gonna use Zoom or go to meeting? So I'm gonna go ahead and choose use Zoom. And then we're gonna say, we are going to meet on the Zoom platform. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our appointment link. So I'm gonna say, okay, I want this to be a half hour long and I want one attendee per slot. And for my starting date, I'm gonna go ahead and say from July to let's end this on August 31st. And then if I want, I can come over here and I can set specific times for the dates that I'm available. But what's even better is to use default times that are stored inside the system underneath your user account. So you can use those default times for all of your appointments. And yes, it is integrated with the Google Calendar. So we're gonna go ahead and click save. 
And now we can go ahead and put in a pre-appointment buffer. So this is time before the appointment. This is time after the appointment. If you want them to book in advance, you just click this button here. You tell them how many days you want to book advance. If you want to limit how far somebody can book in advance, you can go ahead and turn this on. If you want to make yourself look busy, so let's say that you have 20 slots available based on the time that you selected for that specific day. What you can do is you can turn this on and say, do me a favor, make me look busy. So only show six slots available. Okay, so it'll randomly go through and just display six slots that are available. And then if we want the user to be able to reschedule or cancel their appointments, we can go ahead and turn this on. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And now we're gonna come over here. This is a required field. So yes, I want their name, email, but I also want their phone number. Then we can have it to where reminders are set out as well. So I can come over here and I can say, set specific reminders for this one appointment. So I'm gonna click add reminder. I'm gonna say, okay, I want the customer to get a reminder one day before the appointment. And let's go ahead and add another one. So I want the customer to get a reminder 15 minutes before the appointment and I want to go ahead and get a reminder myself 15 minutes as well before the appointment. Because remember, Zoom's gonna send you notification and the Google Calendar is going to send you notification too. So you don't wanna to get too overkill with this, but that's how we do that. But the easy way to do this is say, user reminder schedule set in my user settings. We've got a lot of default settings so that you're not having to do the same thing over and over and over. I'm gonna go ahead and click the save button. And here we can go and add a specific logo to our appointment. We can enable our profile picture. If we wanna show related appointments, we can turn this on and say, okay, I want my free consultation there as well. If I wanna have my icons on, I can say, show my Facebook, my Twitter, and my LinkedIn. It's gonna pull all this information from our profile. And then if I wanna have a video on my appointment, I can turn this on and if I want to send them somewhere after the appointment, I can send them to a thank you page. And then we're going to go ahead and click save. And now you see that we've gone and hosted the appointment. So we'll go ahead and open this link. And there's the appointment that I just went and created. So I don't think we set up any time slots, but your time slots would be there. There's the available appointment that we have down below, but we can also iframe this appointment. And then once again, we have the widgets just for the appointment. And so if I come back over here to my appointments dashboard, let me show you something really cool. So here's the appointment we just set up, right? Chad's coaching program, we open it up. So obviously we have one view, uh, but we didn't book anything. But if you look here, I've got this strategy session here. It's had 158 views, 11 bookings, 6.96 score but what I'm able to do is I'm able to come over here and click on view bookings and again we don't want to reveal any of our customers data so this is just test data to show you how this is going to work okay so once somebody submits an appointment it's going to be in an open status and therefore you can come over here and access the information on this dashboard as well as the notifications that you're getting inside your email now I've got one more thing to show you what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here we're gonna click on this link campaigns now, remember how we linked that one application and survey to that specific appointment? Well, if I come over here to my link campaigns, you will see that I now have a new link campaign called feedback. And so the reason why this is a link campaign is because survey knows that we took our application and our surveys and we linked it to an appointment form. So now it becomes a special link campaign. And now the statistics are different as well. So you see that we have the number of views and out of the number of views, how many people actually submitted a response. Out of the ones that submitted the response, how many are qualified? Out of the ones that are qualified, how many have actually booked the appointment? And then we have the overall score. And then you're able to come over here and look at the data for each one of your link campaigns as well. And so then I can come over here and I can see just the linked campaign stats. And so here's the applicants that not only submitted their application or their survey, but they also went through the application process. So you can see here's the respondent ID, here's the date, here is the type, it was a site survey. Are they qualified? No. Did they make an appointment? No. So if we look at the next one, it's just sample data here, you can see the same exact thing. It was a site survey. Are they qualified? Yes. Did they make an appointment? No. And if we come down here to this one, you can see that yes, they were qualified and yes, they made an appointment. And then we can come over here and we can actually view the actual details of the answers that were submitted and we can see all the information and we can scroll through all these different entries just for the link campaigns. And so there you go. Now you have a brief overview of the power of the survey platform. And in addition to that, also know that you're in good hands because if you come over here and you click on the tutorials, we've got a whole entire tutorial library base based on category. 
So you can just come over here and choose the category and then the videos will change according to the category you choose. So now I'm over here on create surveys. Plus we also have a knowledge base that we're building out right now as we speak. And on top of that, we also have an amazing Facebook group as well. So you can come in here and we're always providing a ton of resources and value and we're sharing different things and doing different master classes. And the members are always getting pumped up and engaged. And if you know anything about our communities, they are the best in the business. So hopefully now you have a better idea of what the survey platform is about and why you definitely want to be a part of it.